mind if I shit here? Hell yeah. Use the bathroom. Uh, the bathroom, you say? Uh, no, no, you misunderstood me. I would like to shit here. Oh, you mean sit. That's fine. Where is everyone? It's happy hour. Happy hour around here is nap time. I'm Bond. James Bond. Why do you always say your last name first? Why don't you just say, my name is James Bond? I'm sorry, mistake you. Uh, have we met before? Oh, I guess you don't recognize me. After all, it's been 50 years. I'm galore, pussy galore. Pushy? Is that you? It's pussy. Boy, you've had a hard life. Honey, I look a lot better than a lot of my friends. At least I'm still here with a pulse. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I bought a condo here a couple of years ago. What about you? I'm here on an undercover mission. You're still working? Yes. I couldn't make ends meet on the meager pension the service gave me. You know you'd be a better spy if you didn't tell everyone who you were. Huh. That never occurred to me. Would you like something to drink? Nah, yes. I'll have prune juice shaken, not stirred. Mm -hmm. I see you've changed your drink. Yes, alcohol bothers my acid reflux. So how long have you been here? I arrived late last night. So what's the mission? You no, know, I can't tell you that. I saved your ass at Fort Knox and you can't tell me? I'm so ashamed of myself. I never did properly, thank you. Oh, all your special forces guys are the same. Well, what do you mean? You're in and out before a girl even knows it. Are you going to tell me the mission or not? All right, all right. I'm here to bust a drug ring. There's a drug ring operating in the condo? Oh, yes. Well, what are they dealing? Heroin? Meth? Crack? No, it's illegal Viagra, shipped in from Canada. That's why Her Majesty's secret service is involved. But that sounds more like an American problem, something the DEA would handle. Oh, not when the Canadian Prime Minister can't get it up. All the Viagra in Canada has been depleted. You can only get it on the black market. I'm cleared with Washington. Do you have any idea who's involved? I got a tip that the head of the cartel is a Dr. Coldfinger. He lives right here in Boca del Mar. He's a Canadian snowbird. Dr. Coldfinger? Yes. He got his name from giving proctate examinations. So what's your plan? I thought I would shoot every guy in the condo with a stick tallywhacker. I could use your help. <laughs> you want me to help you cull the herd by knocking off all the studs? I don't think so. Well, well, why not? The ratio of women to men here is three to one. Besides, this isn't the 60s where you go in shooting up the place. But I've got a license to kill. Gotta shoot someone. All you have to do is hack. Oh, now you're talking. I'll hack the bad guys to death. No, I mean, have your agency hack into Coldfinger's computer. That's the fun in that. 
Oh, James, you're now 0070. You've got to get with the times. Yes, that's what Money Penny said. Well, she's right. How does Coldfinger move his product? He sells it on the internet and ships it from a warehouse from an undisclosed location in Canada. Well, there you go. Just shut him down. Now we're on the same page. <sighs> you know, I've got to find this guy. You cozy up to him. I need you to get the location of the warehouse. Why do I need to do that for? So I can blow it up. No more blowing things up. Holy crap. You're so old school. All you need to do is just disable his website. Pushy, you have become such a buzzkill. And you're such a dinosaur. Goldfinger is a megalomaniac looking for world domination. By selling discount Viagra to senior citizens? Please, you can't be serious. Oh, I'm very serious. Viagra is just a start. What are you worried about? You think he'll start selling Preparation H next? Look, James, you've been towing the government's line for so long, you actually believe it. You need to spend less time admiring yourself in the mirror and wake up and smell the roses. What are you trying to say? I don't think Coldfinger is a bad guy. He's doing a community service. Medicare doesn't cover Viagra. I'm so confused. Look at it this way. The government doesn't care about seniors having sex. Coldfinger is helping us achieve our pursuit of happiness. It's our inalienable right. I never thought about it that way. Tell me, James, are you still as good in bed as you used to be? Ooh, I see you're happy to see me. You're still my sex pistol. That's not me. It's my gun. What I do best in bed now is sleep. Sometimes... I don't even make it to bed, and I fall asleep on the sofa. You're gay? Gay? Why ever would you think that? Well, you said you sleep with your chauffeur. I don't sleep with my chauffeur. I said I fall asleep on the sofa. You know, the couch. Oh, well, that's a relief. I thought us women may have lost another pretty boy. Are you single? You make it sound like I've got a skin disease. I'm a widow, like most of the women here. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation with a lady. I know she's not much to look at, but uh, I think she wants to have sex with you. Sex, you say? <laughs> I'm afraid those days are over for me. At my age, it's sort of nature's way of saying no hard feelings. You can't stuff a marshmallow in a coin slot if you get my drift. Well, I can give you something that can help with that, and uh, it'll last up to four hours. Four hours, you say? But can I sleep? Oh, hell yeah, but you... <laughs> You can't roll over. <laughs> hmm. Uh, what do you call this? It's my cocks are flopping. <laughs> Ten bucks. <clears throat> Have you got a pill to make her look any better? <laughs> That's called... Alcohol, my friend. Huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 o
jolly good. Pushy, come to daddy. How about we meet back at my place around 10-ish? 10-ish? Should I bring my racket? <laughs>